Okay. Uh, thanks. And uh, we'll now turn the floor over to my colleague, uh, Monica. One second. Much, Farhan, and uh, good afternoon, everybody. It's nice to see you again for the last day of this week. Earlier today, the General Assembly and the Security Council conducted simultaneous and independent elections for a new member of the International Court of Justice, ICJ. At the J Hall, Mr. Abdullah Shahid presided over the meeting, which elected by absolute majority Ms. Hillary Charlesworth as the new member of the ICJ. Ms. Charlesworth from Australia received 119 votes at the General Assembly and obtained absolute majority at the Security Council, according to the letter sent to the PJ by the President of the Security Council with the election result in that chamber. The other candidates to the ICJ, Mr. Linos Alexander Sicilianos from Greece, received 71 votes at the GA election. A professor of law, Ms. Charlesworth, will now occupy the seat left vacant uh, after the passing of His Excellency Judge James Richard Crawford from Australia on 31st of May. Her term in office begins today and will expire on 5th February 2024. The International Court of Justice is composed of 15 judges elected to 90-year terms of office by the GA and the Security Council. And now a note for your diaries. On 22nd and 23rd of November this month, the General Assembly will conduct a high-level meeting on the appraisal of the United Nations Global Plan of action to combat trafficking in persons. The objective is to evaluate the progress achieved in the implementation of the global plan. This appraisal takes place on, um, on a quadrennial basis and reflects on current gaps and challenges. The two-day meeting coming up will include an opening segment followed by plenary meetings, two interactive panel discussions, and a closing plenary meeting. A political declaration on the implementation of the global plan is expected to be adopted at the opening plenary on 22nd November. The meeting will be attended by the PGA, the Secretary General, the Executive Director of uh, UNODC, the Special Rapporteur on Trafficking in Persons, and civil society representatives. The panel discussion one in the afternoon will touch upon enduring trafficking issues and gaps, including the trafficking of women and children, particularly girls, for the purpose of sexual exploitation. Panel two will discuss trafficking persons in the context of COVID-19 and the misuse of information and communications technologies to facilitate trafficking, including for the purpose of sexual exploitation on the internet. And the event will conclude on 23rd November. More information you will have under the section letters already on the PGA's website, and the list of over 50 civil society organizations is already online as well. They will be taking part with uh, short videos, up to three minutes. On Mr. Shahid's agenda, he started his day presiding over the election of a judge for the ICJ. This afternoon, he will receive at his office in separate bilateral meetings the permanent representatives of Syria, Eritrea, and Mr. Sandra Gozzi, member of the European Parliament. The PGA will also meet the ambassadors of Sweden and Germany to the United Nations. And finally, on a personal note, on a personal note now uh, for you. Today is my last briefing uh, to you on behalf of the PJ. I have informed Mr. Shahid that I am stepping down as his spokesperson due to personal reasons. I am very grateful to the PJ for his understanding and I also thank the entire team for the cooperation we had over the last two months. I wish all of you here uh, in the briefing room, as well as the presidency of HOPE, all the best for the future. Do you have any questions here or on the screen? Go ahead, Idi. How are you today? Fine. Thank you, Monica. Uh, on behalf of Anka, I would certainly like to thank you for your openness and all your help to all the correspondents here at 
the United Nations and to wish you well and the very best. Thank you so much, Edie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You have a question? Go ahead. Ray, how First are you? All, uh, I'm, I'm not that good. I mean, we, uh, sorry to hear that you are leaving us in the middle of the room. <laughs> But uh, let me ask you once again, any update regarding when this credential committee will meet? Yes, we hear that the committee will uh, uh, meet in, in November. So it's just, um, it's in it's this it's month, it's but not a date, not an exact date. But yes, this month, definitely. Celia, how are you? Go ahead. I'm fine. What are you going to do? We already said that you're leaving, but are you going to leave the building? What will you not do Not at all, not at all. I, I will remain in this building where I have been working uh, for over 15 years at DGC. Uh, as you know, this post is seconded by DGC. So uh, we uh, go back to our substantial posts once we finish the, the work here. Yeah, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. how are you today? Thank you, Monica. Uh, I'm sorry that you're leaving, and I really wish you the best. Uh, Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I have a um, follow-up question on, you know, I asked you this week and you came about the issue of credential committee regarding mm -hmm. uh, Geneva mm -hmm. and whether they are also responsible for um, uh, ambassadors. Uh, mm -hmm. And you came back to me and told me that they are. Mm -hmm. So my question, and as you probably know, uh, that the Sudanese army uh, fired the, uh, their ambassador in Geneva. Mm -hmm. uh, so my question is whether you know uh, if they also uh, have uh, asked for uh, a new ambassador to be appointed uh, or, uh, in Geneva, thank you. No, you are absolutely right. I mean, as a, a subsidiary organ, um, the uh, Human Rights Council uh, follows, of course, uh, uh, the recommendations of the credential uh, committee here. Uh, but we no, we don't have any information on this, that um, uh, a third uh, member state would be um, also considered. Not, not yet, not to my knowledge. Yes, thank you. Anyone else here or on the screen? Oh, I have Evelyn. Now, thank you so much for waving because I don't have my phone. So Evelyn first, and then I have uh, the uh, Hamid. Yeah, Evelyn, go ahead. When exactly, are you when exactly are you leaving this post? Today, today is my last day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Today is your last day. Today is my last day, correct, yes. Hamid? Hamid, I can't I hear you. The express man. Who is replacing you? I want to express my also, uh, disappointment and sadness that you live with us. Sorry for that. Thank you. So I want to wish you all the best. Thank you. I appreciate. Can I appreciate. You hear me? Yes, I can yeah. hear you. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. And we, of course, will be. Thank you. All. Thank, you. Thank you so we much. Wish you all the best. Iftaka, now you, you are all uh, popping up on the screen. Yeah. Iftaka, thank you so much, I appreciate Look, we are, I'm, I, as I said, I'm still in the building, and uh, um, I wish you all the best, and also all the best for the presidency of HOPE. Uh, I thank again uh, the PJ for his understanding, and uh, we will keep seeing each other. We are journalists, we are working on, with news, and uh, we never stop, right? By the way, stopping, it's weekend, so have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> All the best.